Hello, my name is Miguel Jimeno. I'm a PhD student from the Computer Science and Engineering Department at the University of South Florida. I will explain to you a research project I'm working on called the Zip Catcher. Voice over IP phones are becoming more and more popular, especially among companies which want to replace their landlines for voice over IP solutions. The advantages are many, but what is being hidden until recently is the monetary and uh, environmental impact of using voice over IP phones instead of landlines. Millions of IP phones remain on all the time, consuming certain amount of energy. This is true even if they, they are not used for most of the time. This produces costs for the company and pollution depending on the source of energy. We designed and developed a system that enables IP phones to go to sleep and be woken up when they receive a call then saving most of the energy currently spent by them. Let me explain to you first uh, why I think that the IP phones are of uh, great monetary and environmental impact. Let's make an incremental view of the problem. One phone needs 7 watts to work, that's 21 kilowatts hour a year which costs 2 dollars, that's nothing. Now a company with 10,000 IP phones consumes 218 megawatts to make phones work and they spend $21,000 a year on that. But now the annual worldwide shipment of IP phones consumes 218 gigawatts hour a year and produces 218,000 tons of CO2. The big problem is, IP phones are on 12 hours a day, but people in the US talk on average for 30 minutes per day meaning that all the pollution produced and the money spent is mainly wasted on IP phones sitting idle waiting for somebody to use them. We just saw the monetary and environmental impact of using voice over IP phones. Now let me show you our system. But first let me show you two scenarios. I'm gonna show you a regular phone to a regular phone call to a voice over IP phone and then I'm gonna show you a call attempt to a IP phone that is uh, sleeping or off or disconnected. The first scenario is how the system works. An IP phone is connected to the network of its company, which has a connection to the internet. This IP phone implements the SIP protocol to initiate the call session. A person using his cell phone makes a call to the IP phone's number. Because it's voice over IP, the call reaches the SIP server where the phone's SIP number is registered, which forwards the call to the company. The IP phone receives the call and starts ringing until someone picks it up. The second scenario is the same call attempt. Now the IP phone is in a sleep state. The person starts the call. The call eventually reaches the company's network but the phone never starts ringing because it's sleeping and cannot answer the initiation phase of the SIP call. Thus the call is not completed. Now our solution, the SIP call catcher. We have a program running on the last hub router of the IP phone called Zip Catcher Demon. It's in charge of detecting calls directed to the phone. The IP phone is in a sleep state. We will assume it can be woken up using a magic packet and can fully resume operation after this. Once the person starts the call and the Zip server forwards the Zip call to the company's network, our demon detects the Zip's invite message. Immediately, it responds with a Zip's trying message, which makes the caller's device wait. Our demo wakes up the IP phone using a magic packet, then waits for a few seconds and forwards exactly the same SIPs invite as it was received. The phone is ready to receive the invite, answers it and starts ringing. The ringing is then detected by the caller. It's important to note that our solution doesn't imply any change in the IP phone structure, neither is needed a modification to the SIP protocol or any voice over IP server involved in the call. Now let's make a zoom into the office router where the main functionality is located. The zip catcher daemon is one of the programs running on the router. It's based on the TCP dump packets filter. The filter is used by the daemon to detect zip calls, which consists on UDP packets on port 5060. The performance of the router is not affected. Here is how we preserve the zip session. First the phone connects to the router. When the phone registers to the zip server, the zip catcher demo running on the router detects the IP where the phone is located. The proxy server then knows where that zip user is located and responds accepting the binding and approving the expiration time of that binding. The router detects from the registration the expiration time of the binding. When the phone goes to sleep, the zip catcher waits for the expiration time and just before the registration expires, it wakes up the phone for it to update the registration. 
After a few minutes, your phone will return to a sleep mode if there is no user input. This occurs every two hours, which is the time used as an example. The expiration time could be set to a convenient maximum in the pro SIP proxy server, which is the one that approves the expiration time requested by the phone. As you can see, the router running the SIP catcher demo can enable an IP phone to sleep for long periods of time. Moving from the slides to the testbed, we have a PC that represents the IP phone, the office router and the SIP server the phone is connected to. The server is from a service called TPAT and is on the internet. Let's show now our system. It consists of the IP phone represented by this PC running a soft phone from SJ Labs and the last hub router represented by this Linksys router WRT54G version 3. In the router we have the SIP catcher daemon which is the one that is going to detect the calls directed to this machine, wake it up and forward the call. Now we are going to put the, the pussy to sleep and then we are going to make the phone call. Now the PC is sleeping. You can actually see the light blinking. And we will dial now the number. I just dial the number. And in a few seconds the machine will start ringing. We can actually see the machine with the IP phone waking up. The monitor is not on but we can move the mouse and see the display and the phone and actually we can answer the phone call. Hello? Hello? As you can see it's working. Wake up with direct packets is not a solution given the large amount of network chat that would make it impossible for a device to sleep for more than a minute before being woken up by a direct packet. We tested our solution with uh, IP soft phones but our target is IP hard phones. Our scenario uh, shows that this system can also help PCs to sleep and be woken up by a, a IP phone call. I have to acknowledge uh, Dr. Ken Christensen, my advisor, Bruce Norman from the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory and Cisco for funding this research. Thank you very much.